I've just started the alkenes topic with my year 12 students, so I thought I'd make a new video to uh, look at how you apply the SIP rules to some tricky alkene molecules. So for the purpose of the video, I'll use these three molecules here. So basically, I'm just going to run through, explain which isomer is shown E or Z. If you wanted to turn this into a little test for yourself, so obviously just pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So the first one, what I've done is I've drawn the displayed formula from the skeletal formula. I think it's much easier to visualise what you've got. Um, and then we just take each carbon of the double bond and establish priority. So the reason why this one's tricky, I suppose, is the fact that on the left-hand carbon, you've got carbon atoms directly bonded. Okay, straightforward here, so we'll deal with this one first. You've got a carbon and a hydrogen. So obviously carbon's got the higher atomic number. So that's the priority group on the right-hand carbon. It's this left-hand carbon that's slightly trickier. So what you need to do is look at what's directly bonded to the common atom. So on this carbon at the top here, you've got three H's. Whereas on this carbon here, you've got two H's and a C. So what we tend to do is we'd write the high priority one first and then the lower priority ones. So we've got HHH versus CHH, CHH. So that one wins because the, it's got that carbon in there, whereas that's just hydrogens. So the priority group is this one. So they're on diagonally opposite sides. So this is the E isomer. Okay, so moving on to the second one. I've done the same again. I've just gone from skeletal to displayed. I've already written up the HHH and the CHH because we've got methyl and ethyl again on this carbon. So I won't explain that one again. So moving on to the right hand carbon, we've got bonded to this one here. We've got H, H and C. So it's kind of like this one here. So we've got C, H, H. On this one, on this carbon, we've got an H and two C's. So we'd write C, C, H. So hopefully you can see that the lower one is going to be priority. So we've got, that's the priority group on this carbon and that's the priority group on this carbon. So those priority groups are on the same side, together on the same side of the double bond. So this one is Z. And the final one, so the left-hand carbon straightforward because we've basically got a carbon or an oxygen, so oxygen's got a higher atomic number than carbon. So that's your priority group on the left-hand carbon. So moving on to the right-hand carbon, again, we've got two common atoms, so carbon and carbon. So we look at what's directly attached. So on the top one, we've got a double bonded O and then a carbon. So the way we write that in these sort of this application of the rules is OO, because it's double bonded C. On the lower carbon, we've got a double bonded O and an H. So that would be O, O, H. So you can see, hopefully, that it's going to be this is the priority group. And therefore, that is the E isomer. 